Evening everyone, Rudd Shaves here. I uh, just got done making my video and uh, got to make it again. Sorry about that, but it is what it is. So thank you to Abraham uh, Valella. I got the uh, knockout shave soap and aftershave today we're going to be doing a pass around with that in the uh, shave market so look up the uh, post I did on it to sign up and um, sign up sign up ends like Sunday night I think or Monday afternoon and we'll do a video review of it next week early and we'll get it on the road uh, secondly I want to thank uh, my friend Peter Charcalis real quick he uh, and he was nice enough to send me the four cents that he had or has I should say which are the uh, spring limited edition Piero Fresco uh, Fougere Modern and Vetiver Modern and man those smell good he also threw in uh, St. James of London, Mandarin Patchouli, Cream, sample of Barnot Bay, as well as a sample of, what am I missing? Fuck it. I can't remember what the last one is. You know, you know what it was, Peter. Thank you very much. Appreciate the samples. Can't wait to try them all. So, the real reason for my, uh video tonight and, and the redo now is uh I know you all have been following Scott Arsta Miller the clean shavers um last couple of videos addressing uh his son Noah who uh suffers from Prouder Willie's syndrome uh I had never heard about this until Scott made us made us all aware of it um and you know in reading it it's uh it's devastating i think for the family and whatnot but he is a courageous young man young boy and uh his family is so loving and kind and uh the support they give him is just you can just see in in scott's announcement how much he cares and and how deeply involved he is in this so uh you know, we talk about getting together as a community, and, and Marty Pape was the one that started this Raise the Bar effort, and uh, he offered to shave his head when they hit 600, and then challenged Scott to shave his legs with a 1,000, and I think Scott accepted and, and upped the ante again and said he would do a Chevette leg shave if we hit a certain number. I'm not sure if it was... 1250 or whatnot, but then Simon Kamaj came in and said, you know, hey, 1500 randomly, somebody who donated picks, you know, one thing, any one thing from my den to uh, jazz it up for, for more donations. And uh, Rudd Shaves wanted to match that and do a random donation, uh, excuse me, a random drawing, drawing piggybacked with Simon. Well, when I recorded this, I didn't look at where we were at. Guess what? We're at 1325 right now as of the time of this recording. So Simon's probably picking out his soap to give away now. So with that, I'm going to raise the bar one more time. Rudd Shaves wants to uh, say at 1750. I will do a random drawing of anyone who donated for this Geneva Cutlery Shave Ready Straight Razor with custom Atlas Restoration Purple uh, Scale. This was honed by Billy T. I've used it two or three times since then. Just dropped it nice. Beautiful scales, white wedge, brass pins. 
So let's get after it, folks. We are a uh, a wonderful community. We quite often are able to get together and donate and help people out. And I don't see why this shouldn't be any exception. And we should probably surpass anything we've ever done in the past, right? Right now. I will add in the uh, video below, I will add the, excuse me, in the uh, section below, I will add the fundraiser page. You can remain anonymous. Um, even. And, and still enter because Scott will be able to pull all the names for me without pulling donation amounts. And we'll do the drawing. So I'm not going to worry about the logistics of that right now. I just want us to hit it quickly. So maybe we can donate some more. We can add some more sweetness to this pot. Get after it, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm going to finish up my shave off camera. Go donate. Thanks all.